Good day everyone, this is the report of Group 4, The Art in Early Civilization. Stone Age is a term used to describe a period of history when stones were used to make tools for survival. So during the Stone Age period, they make uh, tools and equipments from stones and in order for them to survive. The term conjures an image of men and women dressed in skin, huddling before fire and cave. Stone Age roughly spanned the 14,000 to 2000 BCE. So in early civilization, since um, t-shirts and dresses are not yet invented, they use uh, skins of animals and make, the, make it as their clothes. And since early civilization is before the modernity and they don't have any structures to live in, uh, they use cave as their home. And it's advantage also sa, uh, if they want to hide from any wild animals that could uh, harm them. There are three periods of Stone Age, the Paleolithic, Mesolithic, and Neolithic. So first is the Paleolithic, the late years of the old stone. Next is the Mesolithic, the Middle Stone Age, and the Neolithic is the New Stone Age. In unearthing of archaeological artifacts and remain provides modern society a glimpse of the beliefs, practices, and activities of early civilization. The motives and reasons behind the creation of ancient materials such as sculptures, painting, and architectural structures may not be clearly defined. Nevertheless, the early people produced such material that reflects their attitude and belief system on spiritual, social, political, and economic matters. So the reason why we have a subtle um, information about what is the life in early civilization is because of the artifacts na nakita ng mga archaeologists from that civilization. And those artifacts na na-discover nila uh, will help us to know more about them, about uh, their civilization and how they live. As the early humans started the transition from being nomads to permanent settlers, their everyday activities also had some changes, which is evident through the materials and even the works of art they have created. Despite changes, as a result of adapting to the environment, there are some themes in their artworks. Most ancient artworks depict religious symbols, a wide array of organism from nature, and activities of everyday life. So since the civilization is evolving, um, the way how they live their lives um, also change. And that is also the reason why how they make their artworks also change. So dahil nag ng kanilang pumuhay, they have already resources to use for their artworks. Next is the prehistoric art. Prehistoric art. The Stone Age has witnessed how humans were able to lead more stable lives and eventually come up with a permanent shelter and tools for survival. To complement this stability and sense of permanence, early humans also turned to creation of paintings and sculptures that despise humans, animals, and their nature habitats. So during this period, though, usually the concept or or idea ng kanilang artwork is kung ano yung makikita nila uh, sa kanilang surroundings, for example, is the humans, animals, and their natural habitats. Paleolithic art is a product of climate change. As the climate got colder, part of the early humans' instincts is to look for shelter that would provide them with warmth. Caves become protected havens for the early humans, and these caves take the way for the birth of their first attempt to create art. So in order for us to survive, we need a shelter. But since there are no um, infrastructures in the early civilization, they use the caves for their shelter. And caves uh, serve as their protection.
especially sa mga natural phenomena such as um, typhoon and other climate. And so the caves paved the way for the birth of the first attempt to create art. So since being in the cave during typhoon or any natural calamities is boring, they decided to make a recreational works to lessen the boredom and that is by painting and drawing into the caves. So example of their cave drawings is the house of bulls found in the cave in Las Cols, France. And these drawings just explains that the early civilization is very talented when it comes to artistry. Mesolithic art, the Venus of Wellendorf. This figure is a highly abstracted woman from highlighted body parts associated with fertility. The representation may show the importance of taking care of these body parts for procreation and consequently the survival of species. So the Venus of Wellendorf uh, sculpture hides a very deep uh, meaning. It has highlighted body parts associated with fertility. So, so as you can see, those highlighted body parts is um, important or very vital para makakreate some of the And they value that presentation for them to uh, for the survival of the species. art Stonehenge in England. The purpose of this fascinating edifice remains a mystery up to this day age. Some regard it as a temple while others see it as a complex calendar that tracks the movements of both the sun and the moon. Others ascribe some magical element to it by associating in with Merlin the magician from King Arthur's story. The Egyptian Art The Egyptian civilization can be divided into three periods, Old, Middle, and New Kingdom. Looking at the three periods, it can be noticed that for the Egyptians, art should be something religious and spiritual. There may have been differences in the techniques used and style emphasized, but there are common denominators among the artworks created during their respective time periods. Narmer Palette It was a palette that utilized and applied dark colors around King Narmer's eyes. The palette was a symbol that commemorates the unification of Upper and Lower Egypt. Next is the Great Pyramid of Giza. During the Old Kingdom, one of the architectural wonders was also constructed. The pyramids in Giza served as tombs since their main purpose was to provide a resting place for the pharaohs. So next is, this is the example picture of a pyramid of Giza. So the reason na din established ang Pyramid of Giza is it will serve as their tomb for the pharaohs. It means it was constructed para maging libingan nila. Queen Nefertiti. This is emphasis to life like fusor of the face like an elongate jaw and thick lidded eyes. Most artists created artwork that are natural and seemingly Rare highlighting the future of their subjects. Naturalism was not only used to depict the plano, but also was used for members of the royal family. The bows of Queen Nefertiti has a long, sensuous neck. So, among artists during this civilization, they are highlighting those details na magita nila sa ilang subjects. For example, if this uh, sculpture of Queen Nefertiti, uh, which emphasizes to lifelike features of the face, 
like an elongated jaw and thick leaded eyes. So, if in modern art, may ginatawag kita ng realism or realistic arts, uh, for them naman, uh, they pertain realism silang artwork to make it more um, detailed and realistic. So, naturalism was not only used to depict the pharaoh, but also was used for members of the royal family. So, if you are a member of the royal family, thus you are the subject of the artwork, we are really observing sa details sa mga facial features. King Tutankhamen. He became king at a very young age and died at the age of 18. Howard Carter discovered his tomb in 1922. They were astonished to find gold artworks and that the coffin was made out of solid gold. The body of the young king was irredeemed in linen and a gold mask covered his face. So, King Tutankhamen is one of the youngest rulers who passed away. And the reason behind that, based sa scientist, is because of the illness. And his tomb was discovered by Howard Carter in 1922. And we can really tell na the early civilization people is very talented when it comes to art. Kay even sa ilang a tomb, uh, we can see artworks. And based sa documentary that I've watched, uh, those artwork is, is the life of those deceased uh, people or deceased individual when they are still living so for example if Yunamata is a king we can see the artwork or the painting is the life of the king and how he ruled the civilization so um, arts of early civilization is very impactful and very influential siya, even nowadays kay, di ba, one of the famous tourist spots in Denmark is the Pyramid of Giza and that is found in Egypt and it is very astonishing that it is also part of the seven wonders of the world and the people of the early civilization is very smart just imagine uh, how they came up with that kind of art so that's all and thank you for listening
and we can tell that the early civilization people is very talented when it comes to art.